Who hasn't seen Netflix's hit show Wednesday yet? After just two months of airing, the show has taken the world by storm. Jenna Ortega, star of the show, said in an interview with Variety that she believes Netflix would be interested in having Lady Gaga, whose song Bloody Mary recently charted on the Billboard Hot 100 as a guest star in the show's second season. In this video, we'll discuss this rumor and uncover the reason why Jenna Ortega regrets her viral Wednesday dance. So let's jump right in. To it. If you've seen the show, you must remember one particular scene that quickly went viral. Wednesday was seen dancing to the Cramps catchy song. Now, if you've seen the TikToks, you may already know this, but Bloody Mary by Lady Gaga, which was released in 2011 on her album Born This Way, is not actually the song that was used in the iconic dance scene in the Netflix series Wednesday. It was actually Goo Goo Muck by the Cramps. If you were scrolling through TikTok at the end of 2022, you would have seen Lady Gaga's song go viral, specifically the line, I'll dance, dance, dance with my hands, hands, hands above my head, head, head. There was a fan in a closet once when I got to a hotel they were, and they <laughs> yeah, opened up the closet and they jumped out and they had a sign and they wanted me to sign some photographs and I was very scared and also I thought it was quite sweet, but my security guard was very upset. It's one of those moments where social media takes over and makes its own rules. Since then, millions of TikTok users have recreated Jenna Ortega's trademark dance from the show Wednesday and set it to Lady Gaga's song, Bloody Mary. In fact, the TikTok trend was so big that it boosted the popularity of Gaga's Bloody Mary by millions of streams and even managed to get the attention of Lady Gaga herself, leading her to recreate Ortega's dance on TikTok. Something that I thought a lot about before you and I talked today was what was something that I wanted people to know about what it's like to be a partner with somebody who has Alzheimer's. I really want people to know that if a loved one of yours. This is how Lady Gaga began to be affiliated with the hit show. So far, Lady Gaga has posted a clip on her social media. She dressed up in schoolgirl goth gear and replicated the choreography from the dance scene. The video blew up pretty quickly too. The social media account for the program appears to have been seen interacting with Gaga in the past, especially after the program praised her for referring to her fans as little monsters. This interaction suggests that Gaga is a fan of the show and has a positive relationship with its creators and social media team. She also welcomed the characters of the show to visit her, tweeting, you're welcome at House of Gaga anytime and bring thing with you. We love pause around here. Jenna Ortega addressed the developments concerning Lady Gaga getting in on the Wednesday TikTok craze and said that she thought it was really strange. This was because a long time ago, she had worked with a hairdresser who had also worked with Gaga and had recently attended a Lady Gaga concert. The hairdresser had gotten Gaga to make a sweet video for Ortega. She recounted the incident because now it seemed like such a long journey. It's crazy how things can change in such a short amount of time and how social media can connect people in unexpected ways. Given how much Lady Gaga has been mixed up in the show, it wouldn't be surprising to see the show's makers make her a cast member for season two. Many fans are already behind the idea, but that's not all. The speculation has reached Jenna Ortega herself, who gave her two cents on the matter. The series star expressed her desire for Lady Gaga to be cast in a horrifying role in the upcoming season of the popular gothic Netflix series. <laughs> When asked if she would like to see Gaga cast in the show, she told Variety, I'd love that, and added, I'm sure Netflix would love that, during an interview on the red carpet ahead of the 2023 Golden Globe Awards. When asked about what role Lady Gaga should play in season two if she were to come on board the hit show Wednesday, Ortega said it would have been similar to the relationship between Wednesday and Miss Thornhill, played by Christina Ricci. She added that she thought Mrs. Thornhill and Wednesday should have a mentor relationship or understand each other in some way. So if Lady Gaga were to be a part, she thought it would have to be two monsters that understand each other. However, Ortega stated that she has not had any sort of contact with Gaga otherwise. As for season two, Ortega said that she has seen nothing and knows nothing about the upcoming season and that she's waiting for the information to be shared with her. 
She also added that she thinks they're just starting to get a writer's room together, so we'll see. The majority of the reviews for Jenna Ortega's portrayal of Wednesday have been favorable, and many have praised her work, particularly for the delirious dance scene during the Raven dance. But Ortega herself doesn't have a particularly fond memory of that scene. Jenna Ortega has admitted that she regrets her viral dance moves, despite the success of the show. In a recent interview with Entertainment Tonight, she looked back on her dance scene and shared her thoughts on how it started a viral trend of parodies and recreations, particularly on TikTok. She said that she has some regrets about the scene and that she often stays awake at night thinking about how, in retrospect, she might have done them differently. On some of it, I had, some of the moves I had planned, some of it was improv. That was one of the scenes that I stay awake at night thinking about because I yeah. thought there was so much that I should have done and could have done. So the fact that anybody has shown any bit of appreciation or have even tried it themselves is kind of, um, it's not fathomable to me. Despite these regrets, she also shared her appreciation for the love shown for the sequence and her surprise at its popularity. She said that she still couldn't believe it, but she believes she could have done better at the sequence. It was one of the scenes that kept her up at night, and she rehearsed it over and over in her mind. The actress did, however, go on to say that she appreciated the overwhelming response she received from people, and that the whole turnout was unfathomable to her. Of course, in retrospect, everything is much more precious. It sounds like a classic case of imposter syndrome to us. Now that the dance scene has already blown up, it's interesting to note that the viral Wednesday dance scene was nearly completely different. The original plan was to have Ortega's character participate in a flash mob, but the team, including Ortega and Tim Burton, felt that it would be out of character for Wednesday to be dancing and encouraging a bunch of people, so they came up with a different plan. What's even more surprising is that Ortega ended up choreographing much of the viral Wednesday dance scene herself. Like, I, I'm not a dancer. I don't do any of that. I've never, I have no experience in that field. And then, yeah, I didn't sleep for two days. I watched videos of Susie and the Banshees. Really? Uh, Denny Levant in Beau Travail. And then on the day, I thought, all right, well... Shocking, right? The scene was so well liked that Russian figure skater Camila Valieva recreated it recently during a competition. seems Ortega had an eye for the camera. Jenna revealed that she also had a hand in making script changes to better match her character's personality. She shared an example of a line where her character was supposed to say, Oh my god, I'm freaking out over a dress. I literally hate myself. But Jenna felt like it didn't sound like something her character would say. She said that she felt that way about a number of things, because they didn't seem to do her character justice. She said, I felt like we were able to avoid a lot of dialogue in an attempt to make her sound human. Instead, she she worked with the writers to make her character's dialogue more authentic and human. We don't know when the new season will come out yet, but the creators, Alfred Gach and Miles Millar, said they're already working on it. So hopefully we'll see it sometime in 2024. That's it from us, folks. We'll see you next time. Have a nice day.